All right, welcome back. We are closing in on winter time now, and that can only mean one thing: scud season. Um, this is one of my favorite scud patterns to use around here, and <clears throat> it's fairly simple to tie. Only a couple of materials, and let's get to it. So I like to tie this on a size 12 hook. Any kind of curved scud hook will do just fine. I'm using a Tiemco and I'm also using a brass bead. You can go with the tungsten too if you want to get a little deeper or wrap it in lead. But basically <clears throat> a couple key ingredients is red thread, get a nice red base. And then we'll take some red tinsel flash, um, you know, thin, small, whatever you want to call it. Uh, red wire works too, if you want to use that. So I'll just go in. And tie this in. Bring it down on the back. And then for the body, I'll use ice stub, hairline ice stub, shrimp, shrimp pink. Um, this stuff looks really good in the water. Um, and with this red getting a nice red base it kind of shines through it it's almost translucent it's pretty cool so I'll get some wax on my thread because I have dry hands uh, get a kind of a generous clump of dubbing and just go ahead and twist that onto the thread Start wrapping that down at the back of the hook. Make kind of a nice tapered body there. All the way up to the back of the Bead. Go ahead and cut off this excess stuff. A little bit got wrapped on the, uh, the, on the hook. That's okay. Now we'll go ahead and wrap our tinsel or wire, whatever you're using, forward to kind of make a nice ribbing. that locked in I will go ahead and take a piece of orange CDC and I basically we'll just try and get one or two wraps of that right behind the eye here um, you can use a You can put it in a loop if you want to, that works well. Um, so, I'll go ahead and get one good wrap and take another wrap just to get a little more CDC on it. And then I'll go ahead and capture the CDC. Once I have it locked in, I'll just cut this off. Push this, push all the CDC back. Go 
couple wraps there. And now I will put a collar on it. I like to use um, Peacock Ice Dub. Um, it gives it just a little bit of a nice looking kind of head poking out if it was a shrimp or you know like a peeking caddis you can do this also in green and make a nice peeking caddis larva um, I'll just go ahead and get a nice wrap on there you don't need too much dubbing that locked in I'll go ahead and just give it a few turns with the whip finisher kind of make a nice red collar hot spot Cut that off. and then what I normally do is anything on the back of the fly I will just cut flush with the fly um, and then just leave it all long and shaggy on the bottom like you know shrimp has little legs and stuff kind of keep it nice and buggy and this thing has great movement in the water um, works super well and then I will hit it with a touch of super glue just to lock things in there and this thing is ready to fish. Just a nice drop of super glue on the thread, and you're ready to go. Give this fly a tie. Tell me what you think. Fish it. Leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and like.